to another unboxing video and today we are gonna be unboxing a 1-6 scale figure with the likeness of Jean-Claude Van Damme. This figure belongs to the series known as Gangster Kingdom. If you are not familiar with this series, let me tell you that they have been making uh, this figurine with the likeness of uh, actors and personalities. For instance, they already made the one of um, Jason Momoa, Scott Atkins, uh, Jason Sterham, uh, Cliff Owen, David Carradine, Danny Trejo, and even, and even David Beckham. That's right. All right, so I am ready to open the box. I'm sure you are too, so let's get to it. Alright guys, here we have it. Let's remove the bag. Alright everyone, so here's the front of the box. As you can see, there's a little bit of damage there. I mean, no big deal, but uh, it would be nice if it wasn't there. But hey, it's just me. Anyway, uh, so here is the figure. At least you can see the likeness of it. And again, this is Gangster's uh, Kingdom. Alright, so this uh, series is made by uh, them toys all right so here's the side of the box you can see the profile at least it's like a it's like a picture right it's a caricature and uh, let's see the back all right holding the knife looking boss all right and let's see one more angle right here this is the last one all right so yeah nothing much over here or there so i just took it out of the box and it came like this okay and this seems to be some sort of i'm thinking at first i thought it was like a like a comic but i don't think it is i think it's more like a pamphlet but uh i haven't opened it yet so we're gonna open it together and then the figure and a bunch of accessories so let's take a look at that first so to my own surprise i was kind of right <laughs> i mean uh this is a comic uh, so diamonds uh, seven uh, derek uh that's the character's uh, name uh derek all right again it's gangster's kingdom and it is a a comic book that score reminds me um uh, the expendables and here i mean i'll i'll read it later so now i wonder if every single uh character has its own uh comic book so maybe maybe they do i don't know yet and then uh the other cover is this which oh okay i see i see it goes by chapters all right the family of diamonds and I'm just learning about this series. Uh, so I believe there's uh, two families, that one is the family of diamonds and the other one is the family of um, aces or something like that. And uh, so they are like in, 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 in a mafia uh, war. Okay, this seems to be, there you go. Oh yeah, this is a card. Let's, let's take it out, all right. So let's see, nothing in the back. Gangster Kingdom, uh, Jean-Claude Van Damme with number seven. And here's the back of it. So yeah, pretty cool. So I was reading this very quickly, not, not the whole thing yet because of, of time, but uh, this is like a little bio, okay? Derek is a veteran of the Diamond family and became an expert in Taekwondo and combat arts at a very young age. Particularly excellent with his leg kicks that's right bro that's right and then check check this out check this out right here with a sudden roundhouse kick derek snaps the man's neck cleanly oh boy this is getting better and better okay so this this plastic has like two or three different like layers so i just removed the first one so we're gonna go one by one so first let's start with the one on the top so here's the figure and just look at that look at that face 
it looks like a caricature of uh, Van Damme but well yeah like a caricature uh, slash kind of real look because uh, I've seen you know some other like caricatures that look more like a, like that like a cartoon this one is is cartoonish but it's also kind of kind of real kind of the way he looks right now at his current uh, age and uh, let me tell you about this outfit um, it feels nice you know you can see it's a little a little shiny and uh, same with the uh, with that uh, shirt and this uh, oh yeah it's removable it has velcro here oh yeah let me check that out uh, even has a muscle shirt underneath and seems to have a tattoo here uh, I am not gonna undress him at least not right now but I just want to show you this quick well actually check that out he has a freaking six pack right there all right you can see the six pack through this uh, meshy uh, seems to be a most yeah muscle shirt he has a necklace or a chain necklace a pretty cool looking belt buckle and this nice uh, shiny pants and look at these boots I love the boots they look pretty cool I wish I had these kind of boots you know like my size look at the bottom all the detail on the boots all right so yeah um, I'm sure uh, it can be displayed without the jacket or even without uh, this uh, shiny uh, shirt but uh, yeah it looks pretty cool I don't know I think I'm gonna display him like clothes the way it is but uh yeah look at that nice uh, paint job details too look at the hair look at the eyes and the nose yeah they did a very good job uh, sculpting uh, the head so now let's see all of the accessories because it seems to have a good number of them it came with uh, this head which I don't know why because it's just a random head I wonder if this is one of those I don't think it's one of those series where they include a body part of a different figure every time you buy one set I mean I have no idea I, I, I really doubt it because this is not that kind of toys but anyway so yeah I don't know who this head belongs to or who this head supposed to be but uh <laughs> yeah he got oh no no I don't know I was I was like oh maybe maybe it's the guy that I was reading on the little pamphlet that I show you so let's just pretend just for the just for the fun for the fun of it he got kicked in the face by legend master kicker van damage anyway so yeah look at that I mean it hurts just to see this head man look at that job with the teeth you can see the tongue right there I mean look like a black eye right there hey it's pretty cool man but again I have no idea who this supposed to be or why this head is in the package in the first place and here we have the rest of the of the hands okay we got some of them with black um, gloves and some without them all right you know this is just different to uh, positions so you can grab uh, different accessories such as uh, weaponry and the like it also came with this and I was like is this a backdrop and no this is some sort of uh, uh, Eva foam and uh, no this is nothing this is it was in between layers so I guess it's just for protection I don't know uh, this is the first time uh, something like this comes so I'm a little I'm a little confused but probably probably it was for protection and lastly take a look at all of the accessories so uh, 
let's let's remove the plastic bag man it has a bunch of them and this one right here it was folded like this right and i thought it was like a base for the stand but no uh this is a empty uh heavy uh punching bag and you can see it has like like blood and everything so my guess is that uh, maybe this is part of the story in the comic book uh, i have no idea but uh i'm just taking a, a guess here because i'm thinking about you know that scene in uh, in one of in one of the fast and the furious where jason Statham is uh punching one guy who is trapped in one of these right i think in fast 10 that's where we see that scene a little longer but anyway uh spoiler alert i guess <laughs> uh anyway check it check this out but is this is empty i don't think it opens or anything i don't know doesn't seem like it i guess you can just hang it here as a hook but uh yeah so that's a an empty punching heavy bag we got uh this little it's, it's not a case is was i always forget that freaking word uh, sheath or something like that um, so this is where this knife goes right there we got uh, this uh, machine gun no machine gun uh, yeah machine gun I guess uh, here we go and then we have this bottle which is supposed to be broken because a bullet just went through it check that out cool and then we got this thing right here which i guess i don't know what, what is this uh, maybe part of the liquid inside the bottle i don't know i don't know yet uh then we got this golden uh revolver oh cool check that out sweet this one is very light all these are pretty pretty light plastic uh, plastic accessories this is a broken bottle all right probably ah you know what this one probably he can grab it and uh for uh displaying purposes you know grab it like that like he's gonna fight someone uh he has what are these things uh, bracelets i guess there's two of them so probably there are some sort of bracelets uh we got another broken uh bottle okay and then we got a watch here i'm gonna have to just do this yeah, because they're too small to actually be able to grab them. And the watch is still there. So we got a cigarette with the smoke. There you go. We got uh, this thing, which is... Oh, it's a bullet, right? Yeah, it's a bullet. And then we have... Um, a neck a neck connector All right and here is the knife I was telling you about cool and we have this right here which I don't know what is it yet uh, any ideas is it part of the of a weapon is it mentioned in the comic book? I don't know. I don't know what is it yet. And then it comes with this. Whatever this is. Oh, I guess it's like blood. Yeah. And it comes with this too. Which I still don't know what is it. Some sort of connector. Probably for an extra for the for some of the joints I'm thinking I mean by by the looks of it and then comes with this seems to be empty 
case uh, it's pretty light oh yeah it opens up oh you know what maybe I don't know but I'm gonna assume that this thing is valuable in the story or something so maybe maybe goes there I don't know probably I'm just gonna put it there I'm just gonna leave it there because looks important and looks dangerous all right what does it says here it says gun vault and lastly here is the watch all right and that's pretty much it so going back to the punching bag yeah it opens up you know at the top you can see right there maybe maybe not and uh yeah but i still don't know like where am i supposed to hang it or put in there <laughs> but uh anyway uh, yeah maybe i can uh oh you know what hold on remember that um uh, uh, eva foam that i showed you earlier that i thought was a layer of extra protection well i was wrong and uh, actually it goes in here in the in the bag so now I just need a place to hang it, but no, that, but at least I can display it next to it, you know, like it's somewhere or or in the on the ground that is behind him. But anyway, that's a cool accessory to have, don't you think? All right, so back to the comic book, okay? Just just bear with me. Okay, so check this out. That's the heavy bag right here, and that's the guy's face resting on top of over there. So let's do that all right um so yeah uh, i was just checking i haven't read it yet but i was just checking it and look at that that's the guy right there and then that's the box and whatever thing that i put inside the case that i was telling you about so you know that happens when you don't read the comic book first <laughs> and then there's a roundhouse kick somewhere in here boom right here crack so yeah, I mean, I'm not gonna read it right now, but I'll read it later, but, so yeah, that's that's why. So, having said that, most likely this neck connector gotta go maybe there. I'm gonna put it here. Right, guys thank you guys for watching the video and yeah overall I am pretty I am pretty content I am pretty pleased with my uh, Jean-Claude Van Damme figurine uh, if you don't know I am a big uh, Van Damme uh, fan since uh, since, uh, since I was in middle school so yeah that's sadly many years ago so yeah I mean I, I like I was telling you I like the outfit I like the look of the outfit I like the feel of the outfit I like that resemblance, you know, uh, mixed with uh, reality and cartoonish. You know, I like that. Uh, I still haven't removed all of the all of the clothing to see the the different tattoos that he has. Probably I'll do it later. I don't feel right now. I gotta do stuff right now. I need to go out and um, so it takes time to undress and then properly and then dress him again. So it takes time man it takes time uh, so yeah uh, he has no stand uh, but he can stand on his own maybe I can get him I like my my figurines to have stands uh, just for safety but uh, so maybe I'll get one I mean I'm I don't know sometimes I like my figurines with the stand other ones I don't or kind of depends uh, it looks better to display them without it but also it's not as safe you know because it can fall and break and you know stuff like that but uh so yeah this, i need to find a place for this guy so probably i'm gonna put him somewhere in here with van damme and also the long run 
I don't know, I'm running out of room, man. I need, I need more space so I can display my favorite figurines. But again, I'm happy. I'm glad I got it. And what about you? Are you collecting these uh, Gangster uh, Kingdom figurines? Uh, if so, let me know which one you have or how many you have. And if you don't have any of them, after watching uh, this video, maybe you are like, you know what? I think I should get one of those. Uh, whatever the case might be, let me know down in the comments below. Again, they have a bunch of different actors and celebrities and personalities that you can check out. And uh, yeah, just Google it and you're gonna see all the different, uh, all the different uh, kinds of, of figures. Anyway, guys, Thank you so much for your time and uh, I am going to see you very soon in another video and until then, chop calamano.